All right, so with this exercise, I want you to envision that I'm standing on a telephone pad. I'm standing on the number five right now. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm standing on number five, and if I'm balancing on my right, what I'm working on is I'm actually stepping to that number, putting some weight through that opposite leg, but the entire time, I'm keeping my heel on the ground, I'm being mindful of my arch, We've been working on this. So you're being mindful of keeping, especially the knuckle of this big toe on the ground the entire time. You'll notice that as I go through these different motions, I'm going to move differently through my foot and ankle the entire time. So especially when I go this direction, you wanna make sure that that big knuckle, that knuckle of the big toe stays down on the ground. I'll step to the side, I'll step over and go this way. So that's supination of the foot. We're still working on controlling that and keeping weight through that side. Stepping this, going there, back, and then repeating. This is what it looks like on the other foot. So still, I'm keeping a lot of weight through this left leg, keeping the heel on the ground, keeping the knuckle of the big toe down on the ground, but I'm putting weight through my other leg and I'm just challenging my balance and being able to move through different ranges of motion in different positions of my foot and ankle. For this ankle mobilization, what I want you to do is get on an elevated surface and now drive that knee forward. But the key here is to make sure you have something that you can hold on to. So here I have a bench. I'm gonna wrap my hands around it and pull myself down. When I pull myself down, you can see my knee come forward more. So when I pull, my knee drives forward more, my heel stays down, and so I get more of an ankle stretch. And this is what I want you to do. Make sure you don't collapse in too much. You can work around your ankle to find where your restriction lies, but typically I found driving forward and out to the side has been a great way to mobilize the ankle. And again, make sure you're pulling in with the hands to maximize this. Don't come up onto the toes, keep the heel down. My back leg is super light, I don't have much weight into this. All my weight is basically onto this leg here. And I'm really getting that ankle to, to get pushed into this dorsiflex position. Oof, and then slowly come on off. This is a static soleus calf stretch. So it's the soleus muscle because we have the back knee bent. I'm demonstrating this stretch right now on the right side. So you wanna step back with the side that you wanna stretch. In this example, I'll show the right side. While keeping your toes facing 12 o'clock, let your knee bend while keeping your heel flat on the ground. I'm at a wall here. I'm gonna lean forward, support my weight on the wall, and now I'm gonna shift my weight forward until I feel a stretch lower in my calf. So this is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna feel it more so in this area here lower in my calf compared to higher up if I kept the knee straight. It's really important to also keep that heel on the ground. If you get a lot of pinching in the front of your ankle, don't go as far, don't shift your weight as much. I just want you to feel a stretch lower in your calf while keeping your knee bent. This is a dynamic 3D calf stretch. 3D because we're reaching in three different directions as we stretch this calf in the back. So right now I'm demonstrating it on the right side. I'm focused on keeping my foot and my toes facing 12 o'clock the entire time. I'm also focused on keeping my knee straight, so I'm not letting it bend. And I'm also focused on keeping my heel down, flat on the ground. I have my hands supported on the wall here. I'm gonna take a step forward shift my weight forward, feel a stretch in the middle of my calf. Now I'm gonna take a big step to my left, shift my weight forward into the left, and now I'm gonna take a big step to the right, shift my weight forward and to the right. As you perform this, you're gonna feel a stretch in different areas of your calf, depending on how flexible you are or how stiff your calf feels in your ankle. That'll determine how far you're reaching forward, how long you're holding the position, 
how much you're shifting your weight. Just focus on keeping that knee straight, that heel flat on the ground, and support yourself using the wall as much as you need. So with this mobilization, we're working on ankle dorsiflexion. A few things that I'm focusing on while I perform this mobilization, I really just want to keep my heel flat on the ground. So as I do it, I'm not letting my heel lift up off the, off the box here. But with that being said, I am messing around with the angle that my shin bone is moving over my foot and my toes. So I'm not just going straight. I'm going to go straight. I'm going to go straight and out. I'm going to go straight and in. I'm really looking for what feels tight to me. What feels like I'm getting a good stretch in the back of my ankle, deep in my calf, lower down. So once I'm here, I can even mess around with my arch. So I can let my arch cave in a little bit. I can raise my arch. And I'm just going to mess around with this and I'm going to see, okay, right here, I feel like I'm actually getting a good stretch back here. So I'm going to attack this angle here. So I'm just going to drive forward. I can off weight my body weight with my arms and my other leg, or I can put more weight into my right leg if I feel like that is what's helping with the stretch. Right here is where I'm getting the best stretch right now in the back of my calf. I'm just hanging out here. I'm shifting my weight side to side. I'm getting a good stretch in the back and on the outside right now. So. Really, with this one, have fun with it. See what works for you. A few things what I don't want to happen, don't get a ton of pinching or pain in your ankle, in your foot. This isn't supposed to cause pain. You should just be feeling a stretch and feel like you're getting some good movement and motion in your foot and ankle.